Congratulations, and I just want to know how you pull it all together. What's your secret? Patience. I have none in life, but I have it when I make a movie. You want to wake it, and you adjust. You got to be open. A lot of people lock into certain things. I never lock into anything. I say, well, here's the scene. Let's see what happens. And I love uh, actors, so the stars and I have a good time, and uh, we uh, make a movie. And you get, you know, I mean, you have quite the cast you've assembled in this one. I just wondered if there was anybody who you had to, like, say, I'm really sorry, I don't have room for you. No, I make room. See, I'm very adjustable. <laughs> it depends. No, we, we, uh, we have parts and we say, so-and-so, you want to come do it? If they say no, we, we have also uh, newer actors. I, I, I don't just... Uh, use all actors' work. We have some new kids, because I like to find kids. And uh, there's a, a girl in the uh, pet store, Mary Keene, I think, has got a shot, a, a blonde girl. And uh, there's always uh, this kid, Abby Breslin's great. I had her since she's six, and Jake Austin's mm -hmm. very good. So I get new, new kids and all the new teenagers, and we try to find people who are going. And for the first time, she did a movie, this kid was great, this Leah Michelle. Yeah. I know she did TV, but she's great in the movie. Quite the I wish voice. I had her in Happy Days, the musical, which I did in Toronto. You know what Happy Days musical now? It's in Italy, touring Italy. Wow. All in Italian. Oh, Look amazing. Oh, that would be fun to see <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. Um, I understand that New Year's Eve actually is a very special night for you. Yes, in many ways. Uh, I uh, was drunk and missed one years ago. I was, I don't know what year it was even. But uh, I did uh, ask my wife to get married one New Year's Eve. Uh, it was, I wasn't working. Usually I work as a drummer, but I wasn't. And uh, she uh, is, said, I'm a nurse and you're a hypochondriac. I think we got a shot. <laughs> <laughs> so she made it easy for me. We got married on her birthday, so I don't have to remember one date, which uh, we're going on a lot of years now. Yeah, that's amazing, an amazing story. And, you know, it's so great, too, because we always get to see her in your films, too. Yes, she has one or two lines, that's it, and always plays a nurse. That's her job. <laughs> and uh, she was uh, a little uh, intimidated this time because she was working with three Oscar winners, and she, but she... They all, after the fish, they all, you know, when you're a real nurse, they all say, listen, Barbara, my arm hurts here. <laughs> what? And she's now nursing in the middle of my movie. But uh, we, we, we have a good time, and I, I work with a lot of actors I never worked with in this movie, so it was really fun for me. Yeah, I was going to ask you that, because was there anybody that you did work with in this movie that actually just really knocked your socks off? No, uh, I or mean, just anyone. Kutcher, it could have been De Niro, for goodness sake. Well, De Niro can knock your socks off quite often and have a good time. I thought the, uh, they were all great, but of course, the, the, the surprise is I had worked with Michelle Pfeiffer before, and, and suddenly she wanted to play a kind of this kind of a, almost an invisible woman who's brand new, you never notice her. And she did such a great job. And I had uh, this kid I knew uh, sing and dance, Zach Efron, but uh, I said, that's how I got him to come. I said, you don't have to sing and dance, you got to act. How about that? Why not? We can do that. And he said, sure. And he did it. And he played this hippie kid. And that's where I work with him. He's we're different generations, Zach and I. So he says things a certain way. And I say, here's what I want to say. How do I say it? And you can throw in a few bros and play and these dudes and stuff like that. <laughs> so uh, he, he, that's the way we worked. And he did it terrific. So he surprised me how, how really good he was. I don't know how you pulled together the, uh, you know, d the ball drop scene and just being in New York. I mean, you being a native New Yorker, uh, to be back there for you and to experience this, but to shoot it. How did you do that, Gary? be very honest, my son Scott shoots second unit. All the big shots he shot <laughs> with Chuck Minsky, my cinematographer. I was there, and I shot two people in a room, which I do very well. But I had to go back upstairs on, with the ball. We yeah. had the ball. And it's cold up there, and there's no elevator <laughs> the last two floors. So we, I did shoot a lot of it out there. But the real star for me in this film was the New York Police Department because they just made everything. We had thousands of people running, yeah. and then millions the night of New Year's. 
So that really made it work for me. Yeah, one thing I am very <coughs> looking forward to. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. No, I please cough. cough. No, no, cough. Can I... <coughs> okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. One thing I am so looking forward to uh, seeing from you is uh, you have a new memoir coming out in the, in the new year. Can you yes. just tell me quickly a little bit about it? And I, I, people are going to be just, you're going to, it's a huge, going to be a huge bestseller, I can already tell you. Well, I have pictures in it, which thought uh, I could open a restaurant or write a book. I chose to write the book. My daughter, Lori, is a graduate of uh, Northwestern Journalism School, where I graduated, and she writes it with me. And it's about uh, my personal life and working with all these people through the years. I've been doing it a few years, you know. So uh, all the people I met and all the different, uh, you know, not just uh, anecdotes. And uh, it, it's there's no tell-all in that kind of book. But it, it's kind of a... Uh, fun for me because uh, I can talk about and thank people uh, in a funny way, of course, it's comedy, and uh, sometimes in an emotional way. And uh, it, it, I, uh, I had an ill, I had cancer, and I was a survivor, and uh, how I got through all that, and the people who helped me. So uh, I think it's a very emotional book, and uh, I hope, uh, you know, people, people read it's called. Uh, my happy days in Hollywood. Well, I hope you come to Toronto to talk about it because I'd love to talk to you more about it. I, I go to up that. there. You know, I, I know how to get there now. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> so you've done Valentine's Day, New Year's Eve. What's your next holiday that you're going to tackle? I may. I want to do some TV shows now, but uh, my next holiday would probably be Mother or Father's Day or both because... Uh, that's what I'm very close to, and uh, that's what I think uh, the emotional of bonding is uh, still, to me, funny and sad, and, and uh, uh, it can really move you and make you watch. Well, keep them coming, Mr. Marshall. I'll be at every single one. I've not missed one of your movies. Thank well, you so much. Pleasure to you. talk to you.